Okay, so Warren Buffett's two main rules. Okay, so is rule number one is never lose money. Don't lose money. And rule number two is never forget rule number one. Okay, and I'll explain why why he always mentions that and why it's so important. Okay. So you can get grips with it. <clears throat> Most of you know this, but um, if you're starting out, then this will be beneficial. Okay, I'll keep it nice and short. I won't wrap it on. Okay, so let's say you've got a hundred pounds to invest. Okay, so you invest that into let's say a stock. Okay. You pick 10 different stocks and you invest a 10 or each, 10 pounds each into each one of those companies, okay? And let's say you picked really badly, you didn't research any of the companies or anything, and you lose 50, you, you end up down 50% on those investments and you end up selling out, okay? Um, at a £50 loss, so you've lost 50% of your money. Now, it's much easier to do that than getting that money back. Okay, so to get that uh, £100 back again from your £50, you have to make 100% on your money. So you've lost 50%, now you have to make 100% to get your money back okay so that's why he says never lose money okay now i'd like to add some other rules as well so always pay off any high interest debt okay so like a credit card so let's say your credit card charge is 30 percent okay and you owe the credit card 100 pounds again okay and they're charging you thirty pounds a year interest. Okay, so your hundred, you've got to picture it as an investment. Okay, it's the opposite of an investment. So that hundred pounds that you owe the credit card, you don't pay it off, and then you pay thirty percent interest. So that turns into seventy quid. Okay. But you owe 130, but it's equivalent. Let's say you lose 30% on an investment, okay? That turns into 70, and you've got to make nearly 50% on your money to recoup that investment, okay? So to compete with um, not paying a 30% interest debt off, you know, you'd have to make more than. 50% on an, another investment. So really, that's that's not doable over the long term. So you're better off, your best investment would be to pay off the credit card, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, and then you want to build out an emergency fund. So if stuff hits the fan, um, like going into a recession, um, the last thing you want to do is sell out of investments that are down, okay? If you're investing in great companies, let's say there's a stock market crash, if you don't have that emergency fund, you end up selling at like really low value, low prices, and it'll take you a long time to get back to where you came from, okay? <clears throat> so those two are, su uh, those three, Things are super important. So, one, never lose money. Two, never forget rule number one. Three, pay off any high interest debt, okay? Because that'll be, for example, 30% interest on a credit card. That's probably paying that off is going to be your best investment, isn't it? Okay. And then four, build out a nice. Um, emergency fund okay so that if anything hits the fan you don't have to sell any investments because 
for example the stock market is very volatile okay you want to be buying when it's low and holding and when there's a better opportunity somewhere else you know uh, and you can sell high that's that's you know you want to um, what's the word have control over you know when you can buy and sell okay so say for example you invest 500 pounds and you have like a really bad stock market crash and that 500 pound turns into 100 pounds okay and you have to sell because you don't have an emergency fund a hundred pounds you're gonna have to five x your money to get that money back okay you never ever want to be in that situation so yeah so um two of warren buffett's rules are never lose money and to never forget rule number one if you like this one click thumbs up and um leave a comment um and to also get a mention warren buffett um he's one of the best sales guys out there as well but he does say for the average person okay they're better off investing into the s p 500 instead of picking single stocks okay and the main main reason for that is um the s p 500 will outperform 96% of single stocks in a 10 year period. Okay, so let's say you invest into the same amount into every single stock in the New York Stock Exchange. Okay, so let's say you invest in 2,800 of the uh, companies in the New York Stock Exchange and then you invest into this SP 500. Okay. The S and you hold that for 10 years, the S&P 500 will outperform about 96% of those single stocks. Okay. <clears throat> so um, you've got to weigh up your risk and reward, the, you know, the risk and reward ratio. Okay. So high risk, high reward isn't as good as you know something more safe okay for that reason so 100 percent 100 pound investment it, it, it drops 50 percent. you end up selling out okay and you had to sell out because you know you haven't got an emergency fund now you have to make 100 percent on your money to recoup that initial investment okay thanks for watching guys hope you like this one leave a comment if you like it and subscribe click that bell notification so you get notified of future videos and leave a comment uh, if you've got any questions and i might be able to do a video around that cheers guys see you on the next one peace